I mean, I mean it, it looks, looks like a monster. monster. You know what I mean? It is very lightningy right now. You know, it looks like a monster. So yeah, you know, if you look at lightning, that is happening in the North Americas. It looks like shit is active. Man, this thingy was supposed to go like this way. And then it was like, no way, bro. I'm going this way? At least that's what they think it's going to do. But I'm going to draw a question mark here. Eh, is that a good question mark? Because nobody knows. I think it's going to be a weird hurricane season. I think cranky weather guy has come back, um, though. He's no longer cranky. Now he's content. Man. And Bobby's saying, never forget. It's an early wave train in the Atlantic. And they're now making it across. Well, the cell is not strong. Wind shear's pretty strong on the area number two of hurricane season 2023, which could become Arlene. But notice how the convection is being separated from the low, which often hinders development i would watch for the side shit man i would just keep an eye on things that's what i'm trying to say i guess especially if you're in tejas today or tomorrow the orange bean is standing them straight up kind of looks like a bullet that's a bad sign i guess and then it, it dips into new mexico and touches the border into the oklahoma that's tomorrow though gonna do like a scoop to maloo they think um it may become a tropical storm it may be just depressed or may stay what it is hey content with our guy <laughs> it's an adjustment to say it's saying hey let's look at sea surface temperatures it's so like okay yeah they look kind of hot in areas now remember i don't think storms are always coordinated collaborated connected to the exact heat of the things around them we've seen some anomalous cyclone low pressures in the north atlantic over the last few years where it got to like category four or five thingy and it was really cold am i making any sense i'm having fun you're having fun we're all having fun asterisk did you hear the other day like russia sent a bunch of missiles and drones at the ukraine and then Ukraine sent a bunch of drones at Russia, which is like a next level of whatever the hell is going on. So, pray for peace. But yeah, sure, she could go sideways tomorrow. And you could get that doom factor that everybody's been talking about, like, every day. And since the world was supposed to end in 1999, like, since then, there's always been some group that's like, the world's ending tomorrow, or this week, or next month, or a couple months after that. Anyway, either way, as your planetary defense commander, I think we're going to hang in there. Um, I mean, sure, shit's still going to be weird and partially dangerous and life's not fair. And I got a weird feeling it's going to be a weird hurricane season. I haven't mentioned that. Plus, Pluto is going to retrograde back into Capricorn in 10 days, June 11th. So the banking slash crypto crisis weirdness will return. Um, and if it doesn't, you can be like, come back two weeks later and be like, hey, Thor, you're totally wrong. I'm like, I'm sorry for being wrong. I try to be right, but we're all human. We all make mistakes. Is it talking about the sun? It is cool all the time. But yeah, it's quite a monster, man. Now, here is just like almost the hand of the monster. See, there's like the monster head and the monster scarf and the monster body. That extends all the way down into Central and South America. So, oh, and look at this windature being blown in over here. Down below the lightning line. You know what's worse than a solar flare radio blackout? Is when the radio you have on a long trip only plays sad The weekend songs. You know, by the guy that we can. And that country song from 
what's his name? But the guy's like, I think my girlfriend's coming back. Or whatever. I keep trying to make that joke work, but it doesn't work. Hey, Mars is going to meet the beehive cluster. Again. It's brought to us by Bumsuck. Yom. From Ixan, South Korea. Hey. Blackpink. He was from South Korea and Australia and New Zealand. How was that for segue? They're like sweet bees. Sweet bees. Or whatever. Man. Have you guys heard about that artificial intelligence stuff? We got a lot to talk about. There's a lot going on. We are living in very interesting times. Uh, Biden supposedly fell at an Air Force graduation ceremony today, which was the biggest win for Republicans since Trump won in 2016 or whatever. Look, I'm trying to tell jokes. Hey, look, lady, Miss or Mrs. Kim Horcher, I see this post, but no, I'm not going to post myself as a villain. That's definitely not my style. Hey, hey, did you know that supposedly 12 miles is the deepest you can go if you try to dig a hole in Earth? At least I think that. I did a video on that a while back. One of the 5,000 videos I've made since I've been doing this for 10 years. Anywho, um, China's going to be like, we're going to dig a 10,000 foot hole. Although I think they would probably do it in kilometers. And I don't know how many kilometers that is. They're just meters. Anyway, we live in interesting times. But we got a lot to talk about. So stick around if you want to. And maybe I'll go live this weekend. And the weekend starts now. God bless everyone. Stay cool.